know, you see gully back this morning for 99 live people. Yes, me dear. Yo, boy, me I tell you, man. Boy, gully back, man. You know, he's a sick person, you know. I remember a couple years ago when they did the surgery and then give him the SHIT bag, you know. And a lot of entertainers did get together. And a lot of people in the public when come out and donate to him and stuff like that. But you know what Gullibab's problem is? Gullibab free with his hand. Gullibab walk around and act like he's rich. If you give Gullibab $10, Gullibab give you $9. And a lot of people say that. They always say that about him. I mean, sometimes I wonder if it's because, you know, he was once homeless and considered a madman and living at the gully or not living nowhere. And, you know, people used to help him out. So now that he's in the position, maybe that's why he feel like he needs to help people out. But he's a, he's a giver. So I think that's his problem. But it's really sad to see what's going on with Bolibab. And I think any one of us can try to help. We to see what we can do. You know, I have a friend just call me a while ago and say I have a lot of the um, colostomy bag them. So I might have to try to find out how to send it down. She have somebody go to Jamaica. Maybe we give that person to say to bring it down and try to get it to him. So, but any help you can gain, gain. But advice you know, to try to get to him. You know, have a phone and it's a pastor, you know. But I mean, I know that's another sticky story, but... I would advise anybody to send a cash down there. I would advise anybody who want to donate just to care about game. And that's it. But anyway, you know, you know, people, me, I sit down and I watch the video, me, I think. You know, 99 is a wicked person, is a mean person. Imagine, Gully Bob show up. And the first thing she do is jump for her life and say, go on over YouTube, me, I go on YouTube with this. Everybody know what YouTube is about, right? YouTube is about money. Once you have the, the followers, them, and, the, you know, the people enough views and stuff. In YouTube is about money. But that's the first thing she said, no go up on YouTube. But now when the man a leave, she said, no bring him back come here. Because I don't want nobody to say, I collect money for him. No bring him back come here. 99, you're a billionaire, right? you're a humanitarian. And you have the charity tricks that run today. No, you hear the man say, him not even have a right it bag. Pan him. And you hear the drain and a leak out. You as a humanitarian could you still make your jump in a one of your six vehicle them and drive good on the pharmacy. You don't have to give him the money. Jump in a one of your six vehicle them, drive good on the pharmacy and buy the man some bag. You couldn't do that out of your own pocket, 99. You had to tell your plunker them whatever you want, give him, give him, don't send him, come give me. Send him, go give him and don't bring him back here because I don't have to give him. What kind of humanitarian act like that? I was watching this thing and I was so upset by the way you now bring him come back and now you with your little lying self a three times the man saying come in your yard <laughs> now Kyo you try to clean it up you couldn't clean up because the man already see a three times he come and you going to talk about spiritual did we meet in spiritual now the man said a raw spiritual the man said physically <laughs> but spiritually the man said raw physically <laughs> three times he come there and come pray for you <laughs> <laughs> then you try to make him clean it up the back on that one. But you know, you, 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 so much people, you talk to so much people so you don't remember. How can somebody come here yard three times so you don't remember them? Go on, but you miss this, I did that. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I honestly would not advise anybody to send the money to that pastor. I would not advise anybody to send a dollar to that pastor. If you want to donate some bag to Gullibap, you want to donate some bag to Gullibap. Because trust me, we're going to hear more about this story. Because a lot of people are doing a lot of things for Gullibab. You're going to hear about this story. You're going to hear about it again. Trust me, I believe it. But the pastor kind of messed up everything this morning. But listen to me. I'm not too gullible, you know. I know everything you want to see on screen sometimes, you want to believe it, you know. 99 don't do anything without a plan first. Sometimes it's keep go wrong, but she don't do anything without a plan. Trust and believe, Gullibat never show up there this morning just like that. Gullibat, you can't just show up a mountain view at 99 hours like that. You cannot. People wake up in the man. What's wrong with you know? And this is not a person with dislike 99, no. This is just a person that see what they want. Come on, wake up. I don't know if wake up, man. My God, man. It's writing on the eye and I refuse to see it. Because somebody say hallelujah, praise the Lord. Come on, man. 
I tell you, man, it's sad, but anyway, what I'm gonna can do for help Golly Bob help him out. But I wouldn't advise you if you dollar go to that pasta. Advice you know, can, can get some colors in the bag, pack it up there. If you don't have a family member, send the money to get the family member that go buy the, the, the colors in the bag and can't drop off of the bag and buy him some grocery or something like that. But I don't advise anybody to send no money good on there and give this pasta. Some more things are going to come out about this pasta. This pasta is something else, yeah. Some things are going to come out about this pasta. Remember? Me, remember? I don't remember. See, me on TV telling you. This pasta have a little reputation that it's going to come out. It's going to come out and 99 know him very, very well. 99 know this pasta very, very well. Remember me telling us all. <laughs>